So I bought this uh, water in diesel probe. Uh, this is the PSA Cit Citron Opposio number. Uh, it's basically a simple probe. Uh, it's got adapter or three three pins, and it's got two metal probes and slightly sticking plastic that you basically screw in the the diesel filter so it measures how much water there is in your at the bottom of your diesel filter so um, I mean I'll try so this is one my 1.6 HDI engine so I'll try to um, screw it in the the diesel filter down there just by removing um, only these two um, pipes I'll try not to remove the rest or see how uh, how easy this will be so these cable ties I use for, um, for basically quieting down my engine probably should do a video I've done a few of these things around to quieten down because these just basically rattle and um, you can hear it inside the cabin so I'll cut those Then you have to uh, undo this pipe simply by twisting. Take out the next one. So you push it slightly because there is a locking thing, a locking tab. That one first here. Simply also twisting and pulling out. And we do the next one. We need a bit more force to get to the locking time, it just basically comes out. So let's see, yeah, I should be, should be able to take it out without uh, taking out the, the whole uh, air box. I wanna, can you see it? So you might wanna take that tube out just to get it out of place. You have to take out the first uh, uh, fuel line in. It's basically a squeeze and push, and this will come out. It's a bit kind of a push. Uh, there might be a bit of a diesel fuel squirting, but that's not that much of a problem. So, there we go. This is so I normally put some aluminium foil so no particles and dust particles and things, there's a bit of wind uh, can come in. Next is you take out the electric plug and then There is a second. I'm not too sure. There is a second line in here. You probably can't quite see. Um, but so I normally would have um, a screwdriver because it's slightly. Yeah, I'll probably push. So that's the uh, that's the second line. Uh, because it, you push from that side and from this side, and this side is really close to the filter, so you might wanna. I normally would put a, a, a screwdriver, just push it here from a finger from the other side. 
Let's see if I can take out the second line. Goes out all right. The next part is just take it out. Let's see if I can take it out without pulling all the, uh, the filter box. So there is a top, uh, there is a top on the knee that you push with the finger, uh, or you pull with the finger. I'm not too sure. I think you pull with the finger like that, and basically slide it. You push it, and you slide it out. Let's see if this can go out. Yeah, and that goes out. And there is um, the electric, the the plug for the. Uh, you can't quite see. That's the plug uh, for the water in diesel sensor, and it's take it out. And that's the uh, the fuel filter taken out. Uh, so um, let's see. So the first uh, fuel line, the second fuel line, uh, the heater. Then you have the uh, hole for the uh, drawing out the water that, that will, um, if it goes out at the bottom of the filter. So this is where the the plug, um, and it's a, it's a dead end, there is no, there are no pins inside for the sensor in diesel. Uh, so this is the plug uh, that, that you need to screw in the, the water in diesel sensor, and it says sensor torque. 3 nanometers plus minus 15 uh, percent. So, uh, yeah, this is it again. It 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 it, it says um, on the on the filter uh, sensor torque 3 newton meters, not nanometers. Newton meters plus minus 15 percent. So I do have a torque wrench, but I don't really have. This is 24 some sort of a deep socket, you can use some sort of a deep socket 24 millimeter, uh, 24 millimeters I don't really have 24 millimeters deep socket so I'll probably do it, I'll just do it by hand so basically you screw that in Let's see. you screw it, you, you have some um, resistance and then you have to really tight in to crack the, the wall, uh, probably should be a cracking uh, noise and then you screw it until um, the two probes go in contact, contact with, the, with the diesel fuel and then I'll try to tighten as, as hard as I can I suspect 3 nanometers should be alright so at the moment there is no, so because I'm retrospectively doing this, this is not a new filter, well it's a new, it's a month I've had it for a month so it's a new filter Delphi it's not Delphi, it's, um, it's a Bosch uh, it's a Bosch filter I normally use the Delphi 939 so I'm retrospectively doing so it's really full of, uh, full of diesel so I have to draw a bit of diesel out of it so it, this won't really squirt diesel out when I uh, push the sensor in um, so the tube I mean that probably I can undo the um, the screw here and this will come underneath, but yeah, I'll, I'll try to just uh, draw it from from these two. Just tip it over, and it should work. So let's see how this goes. So basically, we'll just tip it, and it's going diesel. So that's all right. I don't need that much diesel, really. You have to. Move it now. This should be enough. So let's see if I can screw 
um, uh, the probing. There was not that much of a tracking sound. Probably didn't need to draw that much field. That seems pretty tight. Yeah, I cannot really put more pressure on that. So I'll try just to level it with this. That should be plenty, around 3 nanometers, I'm not too sure if it's 3 nanometers. So I'm sure people would say, why well, would you want to do that? I like data, so uh, additional sensor is, um, sounds pretty good to me. So really it's a bit of a tight fit, so I'll first put in the sensor, clip it in. go and then I have to push this one slightly up here because I didn't really remove the pipes Actually, ah, there we go. A bit of more pushing and shoving, and you basically push it down. Let's see if something is not sticking around. Should be in not quite. Yeah, you have to basically push it in as much as you can go and then pull on the top at the back. You should hear a clicking sound. That's it. Then it doesn't really uh, move at all. So putting the, the plug back in, uh, then the bottom. You can kind of see the bottom uh, pipe, the fuel pipe. Don't forget the foil, or if you don't use foil, whatever you use. It just basically slots in, you just push it in until you hear a clicking sound. That's it. And then the other one as well. You also push it in. So I've labeled the one and two just every time we re replace the fuel filter, not to forget. And you put the other this pipe in that, that we took out, you basically push it again. And um, that should be it for now. So you need to uh, put the pipes in. First is um, this one, so you clip this, you clip it in, but it's pretty flimsy by now. So you push this this pin here, this one, still clicks, and then let's see if I can rotate it for this bit. So we have uh, this pipe, so I normally put it from that side. It's just easier. So it's a bit of a pushing and twisting motion if you get it in. And then from that side, let's move it. From that side again, 
a bit of a twisting and pushing. So you can see how let me show it like that. So you see how this is rattling while the engine is on. So that's why I have the tie-ins. So now before um, um, before starting the engine, of course, we would have to um, because there is some air in the in the line, so we have to really um, push on the bob in order to clear clear the air. Remove this panel. And that's the boop, so you have to really squeeze quite hard. Initially it will be pretty easy, you can hear it. Basically you have to squeeze this several times until it becomes hard. And you can hear fuel passing through. There you go. Now squeeze it a few more times just to Get some more fuel going. Well, that should be enough. So really, um, once you've done this, so you have to once you start the engine. I mean, for the moment, this probe is not not activated, so I have to activate it in uh, Peugeot Planet or Lexia if you have Citroen. So we have a Peugeot. So. Um, then you have to watch out for, for leaks, of course. Um, if you haven't pushed in the pipe or anything, probably won't start. But still, you have to watch out for leaks, uh, specifically for the um, for the uh, this. Uh, well, I don't really have the pipe for this pipe. Uh, this protruding here, um, I don't quite see. It. This is when you unscrew the the top valve. And um, if there is water in the in the fuel, will will leak out. They don't really have the pipe. Somebody has taken it over. I might have to put a, a a pipe someday. That's why I didn't really undo the the valve for clearing the water in the diesel. So next, I'll uh, put a cable tie in just for this not to be not to be really rattling that much. Um, so I'll squeeze it through here, and we'll go over top of the filter. We'll come out, come out of here. So you need another one. You need another one to put it in, so it can be. And you basically tie them together. It's not too tight. Just so this doesn't really move at all, you can see now there's no movement. So I'll cut the, the tops. Because, because that one, that pipe in here also here it also moves quite a bit so I'll put another cable tie in like that uh, kind of a self tying cable ties so you push that one in and um, you cut that bit I wouldn't really tight that much too much, I mean, it should be fairly tight in order to move that much. Just push it a bit on top, there we go. It doesn't really move that much. And then you have to, of course, uh, put back the cover on. And 
I mean, my camera is tied to the car, so I would start it with the camera on, but um, um, I don't really do that because the camera would fall somewhere inside of the engine. So I'll start it and I'll let you know if it starts, and it should, should be no problem. Here it is really started from the first go, uh, for checking for leaks and so on. But these don't really at all move, so it's a pretty good job with this uh, self tying cable ties. So after 10 minute drive, so you have to again uh, check for any potential leaks. I can't see any leaks, but still you have to really uh, carefully examine uh, for any potential leaks. And this is at the back of the diesel filter. And, um, oh, that's it. If you want to do it, it's not that difficult. Thank you for watching.